Uh huh. It's a little hard, but I feel like I need it. The new pattern is starting to emerge. 925. Eight. 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 Did you ever watch Breaking Bad? Yes. <laughs> so whenever I had Ryan take the bags and put it into the uh -huh. freezer, he would feel like Walter White. <laughs> Do you remember that scene where he had all the money? Yeah. Is that your ringer? Yeah. Oh. I like that. My wife. I don't, I'm not going to answer. I'll call her right back. Do you know where Trump is going today? He's going to the EPA. He's going to the EPA to complete an executive order. He's going to just be hacking away so that we can become coal, more coal dependent. And he was going to make adjustments around um, the, how we penalize and the regulations that we put into place on power plants and emissions. That's what he's doing with his time, right? He's 70. He's not going to be around to see this. In, over the next couple of years, they're going to have to do over a trillion dollars in infrastructure fixes, and this cheap water we're all so used to is not going to be so cheap. And they estimate that 35% of Americans will not be able to afford their own water. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. And that's near, that's like next five to ten years. Yeah. This is, this is real. Nobody's talking about that. No. This is amazing. <laughs> Yay. The massage was killer. I so needed that. That reminds me, I need to schedule that. We're going to a place called the Henry, which has interestingly enough has become here in Phoenix kind of like the spot to yeah. meet up if you're a startup if you're in tech or if you're in entrepreneurship and I always run into people that I know at the Henry it's like this it's like a good place to just catch up with people that you don't plan on like for good serendipitous meetings yeah oh, no I, I totally did how are you good Hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Hey. This is Brad. Hi. This is the video experiment. Hey. How are you doing? Great to see you. Alright, so what do we connect? I'll definitely be in touch. Okay, I can yeah. always find Kathy Sachs. Well, I know you, I, well, you had a baby. <laughs> Who had a baby? I had a baby. You did. Yeah. You did it yourself? Yeah, well. <laughs> did Brian, Brian help? Brian was involved. Oh, Brian, go ahead. No, back. you should always pitch in. <laughs> Have a good one, man. All right. Dan always does that. See you later. <laughs> you gotta do that if you got kids. I know, right? What's the story of the fist pump? It's uh, people remember it. Boom. Right? Yeah. Right. How many 58-year-old guys do you know that do fist pump? You're the None. One, Zero. Man. So then they sign up, and then uh, we teach them the theory about inbound sales. And the biggest turn to people picking up the phone isn't necessarily the skills. It's that you, everybody's been cold called, right? And they don't want to be that pushy person. They're like, I could never do that. Like, I'd never ask you to do that, right? The difference between making 100 dials a day and making an hour's worth of call a day is you're going to have three very nice conversations. And it boils down to the first 90 seconds. Right? And it boils down to a voice tone, right? If I call you, right, even if you don't know me, you're going to realize that a professional is calling you, that I'm going to have very authoritative voice tone, that I'm going to get you to laugh in the first 90 seconds. Or if I can't get you to laugh because you're like got a PhD or you're a mean lawyer or something like that, I'll reference something that uh, would be helpful. What I love about you is that you're like this natural teacher and this natural sharer of education and information yes. like when we did the advising yes. with the one startup it's yes. like it's like all right well your problems or your challenges all right let's just one two three get through it i love that you don't waste time